Hello everyone, welcome yourselves back to the YouTube channel, back for the next episode of the Retro Reviews Series, episode 24 today, Little Bill is the pick for today. If you want to see any of your favourite shows from your childhood or in general from your adulthood, some of the nostalgic aspects of your life that you enjoyed via TV, do let me know down below in the comments and let's dive into the next episode. Spoilers ahead, subscribe, like as always, and enjoy the video. So, Little Bill, based on... I think he's based on Bill Cosby, Crosby's life. Um, he did write it. Illustrations with my someone else. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. The show's main character, Little Bill, was inspired by both Cosby's childhood and by his late son, Ennis Cosby. Uh, so yeah, Little Bill had two seasons, featuring 26 episodes in each season, so 52 in total, running from 1999 to 2004. And this is, was one of my most iconic shows growing up, a very, very different show to what you expect. You know, Captain Brainstorm and all the characters, Little Bill enjoyed, the people he interacted with, his family, the different adventures he went on, the animation style, the dream sequences. There was so much to enjoy about this little show, a wide range of cast members, you know, Captain Brainstorm was actually voiced by Bill Cosby, which is kind of crazy, um, but yeah, I think this was very much one of the most enjoyable ones I had growing up, you know, I think of Little Bear, Little Bill, you know, Postman Park, you Fireman Sam, you both the builders, then you, you transition into your further ones, like Hannah Montana, Sweet Life, Second Cody, but it depends on the age range, and these are actually based on books, which I did not realise, uh, but yeah, Little Bill, has it aged well? Is it a good story? Is it enjoyable? Can you watch it in modern day? I'd say yes, you can watch it in modern day. <clears throat> it is enjoyable. The animation style is very different to what you expect from anything. But I love the world that's created in here. I love the whole Captain Brainstorm stuff. It's a very unique aspect into a realistic setting, you know, with his parents and his friends and his brother and sister you know, the first episode I watched, <clears throat> to go back to nostalgia and to relive and experience what it was to enjoy this, was the babysitter episode. He's a whingy little kid, but once he becomes relatable with the person he's dealing with, he becomes a likable person and enjoys their presence. So the episodes take a little bit to get going, but the development is so well and the characters in the episode are so likable. Little Bill is an enjoyable character that you can sort of relate to when you're a kid because you, you're, you're weird with strangers, you're different around who, different people, whether it's your parents, whether it's babysitters, whether it's your friends. And that's why it's such an enjoyable season. I think it's one of my favorite things from childhood. Not the best one I've ever seen, but it's still one of the best things I've seen when I was a child. Going back to it was so good. It was enjoyable. I love the introduction. I love the music. I love the concept behind it. I love the art style. I love what they try to do every episode, have different ideas, different concepts, little things you would do on a daily basis, go to the park, go to the zoo, be babysat, go to parents' evening, go to school, whatever it may be. Little Bill was that show you'd watch when you came in for 10, 15 minutes, segments of 24 minutes altogether, whatever it may be, and just have an absolute blast and have it relate to you as well. I know this was Bill's life and Ennis Cosby's life, but ultimately you can see some of the aspects that you would have lived in your life. So I think Little Bill ticks all the boxes off. It is an easy five out of five for me, and I can't wait to talk more about these Nick Jr. amazing shows that I grew up with. So subscribe, like as always, let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed the show, and of course, stick around for the next two episodes coming tomorrow and over the weekend as we delve deeper into our nostalgic aspects, the shows we grew up with, the shows I've never seen but wanted to watch, like Corey EastEnders and the soaps that made us enjoy tv so much in modern day so i'll see you the next one and suggest any more shows down below that you are yet to see on this series enjoy the rest of the videos and goodbye